So a lot of new businesses popping up in our communities that are well worth checking out. Yes, for instance, there's a cafe in Ypsilanti where you can name your own price for a cup of Java and enjoy a whole different experience. So our Michelle Oliver shows why Cafe Lampshade is more than just a typical coffee shop. Words cannot easily describe everything that Cafe Lampshade is. I like that it invites people to be themselves. I think lampshade is a feeling. I want to write here and I want to meet clients here and I want to create here and I just want to think here and just be here. At first glance, it seems like an eclectic coffee shop, but that's too limiting. Perhaps it is best described as the brainchild of Ricky Herbert. Whatever people want to do, we want this to be a space where people come and implement their ideas. My idea eventually would just to be like, get to do this the whole time. Just sit and chat and see what people can create. Now, Ricky himself is hard to define. He graduated from U of M, was a teacher in New York, a world traveler, a life coach, a personal trainer. He ran nonprofits, but he was always searching for something. I'm a very fly by the seat of my pants, always on the go, new adventures, new this, new that, and I've been probably searching for community for a while, and so it's kind of like, okay, you're in your 30s now, what if you made a place that instead of going out and seeking community and finding that all the time, what if you created a space? So he created a community of his own. And I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't have a business plan or blueprints or anything, no investors, just like, this is, this is my art project. The space has several functions, from a meeting space, to community classes, to an art gallery, to a resale shop, to musical performances. But the thing that gets the most people through the door is the coffee. And, like everything else here, it's done differently. So the entire coffee bar operates as pick your price. Think about it, like what is this experience worth? There's a beautiful concert that's going on, and you're talking about some crazy arts initiative with children in inner city this, and I really love that, and so I want to pay $20 for my latte or hey, I'm really broke today and I got a dollar, but I want coffee, then of course, here's your coffee. So it's kind of like socialistic capitalism. And while that may sound like a poor business plan, it's been working out great so far. The number of people who come in and just $5, $7, $10, $40 for a cup of coffee. When people are happily giving their money versus being forced to, like you owe me 350, then it's like, you're gonna give me 350, but it's like, I don't know, you tell me. The walls are decked with books and trinkets, all of which are for sale, or can be borrowed. And if you look closely, you will find little love notes hiding all around. We have a, we have one box that's like, write little love notes, so people can just write notes to each other or to the space, and then little love connections or friendship connections, or just little I'm thinking of you connections. We forget how much just telling someone their hair looks nice today, how far that goes. However you choose to define what Cafe Lampshade is, one word perfectly describes its spirit. Community. What a cool place. Hang on, your hair looks nice today. Thank you, I just Chuck. wanted to make sure. Thank you, so does yours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can you see the Velcro? No, just kidding. No Go Velcro. Ahead, I love the, that idea. I feel like if someone were like, oh, give me whatever you want to be like, oh, here's five bucks, right? Yeah. 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 Right. We like the concept. So if you're interested in checking out Cafe Lampshade, you'll find it on Michigan Avenue between Huron and Hamilton Streets in Ypsilanti. So would you leave little notes, not love notes necessarily, no. but would you leave, like if you knew a friend comes in about the same time right? every day and they kind of look in the book section, would you leave a little note in there? I would, absolutely. I like, you know, I like notes. I love sending unexpected emails. I love surprising yeah. people. You know that that's one of my things. I love it. I think it's great. And what about over giving for a cup of coffee if you know where it's going if, if you, I know where it's going yeah. yeah I think I would too I think okay. it's like they said you know if you asking for 350 it feels like a demand but yeah. if you're like give me what you got I you're like gonna hand over a five right mm -hmm. yes